So OLEDs are about to hit 2,000 nits this year, ladies and gentlemen. Samsung display pretty much confirmed that to flat panel HD, which by the way, let me just say this right now, that is insane, okay? Because we've been trying so hard just to maintain 1,000 nits for the longest time. Um, I thought 1,500 was pretty good uh on the s95b and then they come out this year and they're just like yeah we're going to add another 500 nits on top of that so for me this is huge news because now we are officially in the mini led territory right and so what that means for us we don't really have to buy mini leds anymore if you want that peak brightness for brighter rooms fantastic now immediately my biggest concern is definitely longevity because while they're talking about, oh, the LG G3 can get up to 1800 nits and these new QD OLEDs, 2000. Nobody yet has said a word about burn-in prevention measures and what they have done to completely eradicate that possibility altogether. And in fact, I guarantee you, we're gonna hear something to the tune of, well, you know, it still exists as a problem, but what we've done is greatly reduced it. But see, that has me worried because when you buy a television, you want to be able to use the features that they're selling it on. And see, yes, there's no doubt they're pushing this brightness thing, right? And for me, I'm kind of worried because I'm a gamer that loves a lot of flashy, showy content. And, and to not be able to experience the peak brightness at day one, like for example, I did on my S95B before they nerfed it, that would be unfortunate because what I feel like is going to happen, they're going to promise these really ambitious brightness levels, right? Oh, 2000 nits, 1800 nits. And then they're going to realize, oh, wait a minute, there's a problem. That's not sustainable. We might actually destroy the TV quicker. Lower it with the update. They won't know the difference. Most people watching this video right now probably don't have calibration tools and aren't able to measure that kind of stuff for themselves. Don't worry, I got you. But also, it's another layer of just like, you're losing more as time goes on like we did with the S95B. And honestly speaking, I don't know that that won't happen this year. So I'm definitely going to be watching like, your, you know, your ultimate big brother on this to make sure that everything is okay. Because again, this is promising. I am very excited. I'm totally obviously freaking buying it. But I think for me, the biggest thing here is making sure that they are not destroying the products. Now I'll be honest with you, okay? I have to say this, I have zero intention on ever updating any of these ultra bright 2000 nit televisions but I will keep my ear to the ground and all that good stuff now you guys might also be glad to know that my sources have checked out yes they will be offering 77 inch QD OLEDs just like the uh, source I had told me so that's wonderful and I think a lot of people like last year on the s95b Everybody was kind of chiming off, hey, I like it that, that, that it's quantum.oled, but I'm going to hold out for a 70 inch. Well, you have a 77 inch this year coming, so that's good stuff there. All around, I think that's super exciting stuff, but ultimately, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that this game of making this brighter is like maybe not ideal, or do you think like this is okay and maybe they figured out something? Now, as an ending note, every company is going to have their technology as to how they got it brighter, but ultimately, whether it's MLA or EL or whatever they decide to push out through various display companies, all we need to know is, is this sustainable? Can that brightness be successfully utilized in more than just HDR or in more than just like maybe you know, split second bursts, right? Like how is the global brightness? I'm gonna be testing that when I get it in. We're gonna be doing a whole lot this year. But again, let me know down below what you guys wanna see. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching the number one brand in honesty. Till the next video, and I'll see you guys later.